Well, this is a, a review of the Mikey 6.5 wide angle lens for micro four thirds. Um, this is a lens in question, metal bodied, um, F2 opening aperture, uh, produces a circular image. Well, almost circular. You'll see in a moment it crops the top and bottom of your image off. But I'm going to show you later how by using editing software you can get a nice circular image for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, when you're using this uh, lens on like this Olympus OM5 you want to I'll get that into view you want to have the crosshair viewfinder so your, your routine is if you want a circular image you have to take two shots one horizontal and one vertical making sure that your crosshair on the important part of the image is dead in the centre uh, you'll see exactly what I mean when I come to edit the image now you can with the Olympus cameras you can set up you can set up the focusing to magnify the area now the focusing on this is very basic it just has near and far printed on it Here we are, that's about as that's about as close as I can focus. Which is probably about nine inches away. Luckily the depth of field with these wide angle lenses is absolutely enormous. So you don't have to worry too much about being precisely focused. I'll just show you on the Olympus here the focusing setting is marked near near and far uh, which isn't exactly very pri precise and there behind there is your aperture ring without click stops But in a, a moment or two, I'll show you how to edit to get a, a completely circular image. So my camera has been temperamental focusing today. Here we go. Uh, as you can see here, the top and bottom of the, the image has been lost. So you take two images, one horizontal and one vertical to capture the whole image circle. Anyway, we'll move on to the editing software now and you can uh, see by demonstration what I'm up to. I'm doing a, a voiceover on my uh, computer uh, because the microphone system has been very temperamental. So. Uh, it might be a tad out of sync, but uh, I hope you'll forgive me. You can always say you didn't like the video and get over it that way. Anyway, let's move on to the editing side. Right, we're now in 
affinity photo. So we're looking at this first image here and as you can see where the, uh, the little hand is going on on the edges there we're missing the sides there to make it completely circular. I've produced looking down at the corner there you can see this is the uh, the guides manager and I've put a, a cross on it just to make life easier for the editing side of things. I've also expanded the, uh, the uh, image to a complete square. So this is the other image and what I've done here is I've copied both the edges that we're missing on the uh, first image. So I'm copying now, I'm copying and pasting them back to this image. I'll just turn that layer on. Now you can see by adding a layer mask there, I've been able to uh, seamlessly um, produce a round image. You notice on the uh, image you get a bit of that unsightliness, the lip of the lens that's easy enough to crop off later on. So that just shows you how the, the mask works and just takes away any area that you don't want. Now I take a circular marquee and using shift in uh, control shift I can get it to radiate out from the center and by adding another layer I can fill that layer in with a color which I'll turn on now which I've done and as you can see it produces a, a nice clean image. So I've made a, a merged copy of all the layers. And I've duplicated that merged copy. And I went into the HDR high dynamic range setting in Affinity and produced this black and white, which I think you'll agree is quite interesting. Certainly from a graphical point of view of illustrating books or uh, um, posters, logos, what have you. But this is, uh, by the way, this is Carlisle Cathedral. <laughs> 